Hi guys, thanks for watching my channel. I'm Caroline and today I wanted to share with you what fits inside my YSL monogram envelope bag. Just over a year ago, I posted the very first video on this channel and it was a reveal and first impressions of this bag. I will link that in the description down below. Please have a watch if you haven't already. I do go through the capacity as far as the different types of things that fits inside. So if you're curious about that, check out the link in the description. Otherwise, today's episode is really just gonna be about how I've been using the bag over the past year. I also did a wear and tear update video. I'll also link that in the description as kind of an update to that update. I never did get around to going back to the YSL boutique. It was pretty low on the priority list to begin with and then lockdown hit and it just wasn't on any list at all. Um, now that everything is reopening, I am going to consider going back in and getting the, that little tip in the front checked. Anyway, this is my YSL. Let's dive inside. So first and foremost, you do have this beautiful front flop here. I did mention that the tip did get some wear. I'll go ahead and pop in a little close up so you can see what the status is right now, it's not really much different from that wear and tear video that I did. Let me just show you kind of what's inside. You can't really see anything, so I'm just gonna kind of pull it out from the top. We do have my iPhone. I have an iPhone XS in a case with a pop socket. I don't put this in the back pocket of this bag. There is this back, you know, slip pocket. It is very tight. I would probably only put things like bills, um, receipts, metro cards if you know when we're riding the metro at this time i do have this soft cloth pouch with my sunglasses in it i got these saint laurent sunglasses from chase amy's sale i love them i think they look super cute i don't know why she let them go but now i'm convinced that we're like soul sisters because i have her unwanted sunglasses they are very much wanted by me i mean i adore them so I do have them in this little cloth case so it doesn't take up too much space, but the lens is still protected from scratches. Oh goodness, did you hear that chain? I love the sound of this chain. So let me see if I can give you a little update next. So that's kind of just how I stack everything in the bag. I mentioned in past videos the capacity on this baby is deceptive. You would think that it's, you know, a standard average capacity bag, but because you have these dips in the side, you do lose space. Um, you do also sometimes get some distorting. Can you kind of see that there just from the shape of the objects? So sometimes you might want to go ahead and like adjust. You can kind of adjust the items and they kind of dip in like normal without the distortion. It is seriously sometimes like Jenga or Tetris up in here because trying to get this stuff to fit without getting the sides distorted is, you know, an issue. I, I did not realize when I got this bag how small the capacity would be and, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I still love the bag. I've made it work and I found this system which I'm sharing with you. Next up, we I do apologize if there's any background noise. I think we have some work being done outside and I've tried to close all the windows but I can still kind of hear it. It might not be picking up for you so I apologize if you're mentioning it if you didn't even notice. But I do have a little compact here. It's a mirrored compact with a little bit of pressed powder. This really beautiful Kat Von D compact. I guess technically now it's known as KVD Vegan Beauty. I told Anthony, he's like, that is the dumbest name for a brand ever. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess they want us to keep the KVD probably in part because of all the packaging, but also just as a throwback. But she sold her partnership or her interests, you know, in the brand. So she's no longer an owner, but KVD, you know, it is what it is. So I have the compact kind of in this front, for me when I'm holding it against my body, front left area. This is going to be the back left area. It is my little coach coin purse. This is like my soccer mom kit. If you watched my coach collection, you'll know just how much I love this. 
and they still sell the, a little version of this. So I don't use this for coins. I actually put just a bunch of stuff that we can go through. Let me put this down because there is a surprising amount that fits in this teeny tiny pouch. So first up, I do have a little, um, what are these called? Invisibobble hair ties in case, you know, one would need that. I have a couple of perfume vials. I have a tampon. Cora Organic tampons. Use organic. If you're sticking things in your body, you want to know that, you know, it's not soaked in chemicals and things like that. I do have a nail file here. Some toothpicks in little plastic, um, plastic sleeves, I guess, to protect them. I don't use toothpicks. My fiance, Anthony, does. He's obsessed. It was one of the things that he did a lot when we were first seeing each other, he always had a toothpick in his mouth and would almost stab me when he, he leaned in for a kiss. I'm like, I do not want to be stabbed in the eye or in the face or in the lips with a toothpick. So toothpicks. Um, I do have a bunch of band-aids in here in case, you know, one wants to protect against blisters or gets a paper cut or otherwise. I've had, it's come in handy so many times. I've had so many people get blisters and ask me for band-aids. I do have the rest of this stuff in here is just, you know, a, a small little army of, oh, there goes one, a small army of bobby pins. I swear to God, bobby pins are always falling everywhere. Bobby pins and safety pins. So all kinds of bin, pins, bobs, and bits. That is what in, in this little pouch, just the kind of everyday things that one would need. Um, I typically try to carry a little packet of, you know, Advil or anything like that. It does fit in this little pouch. How amazing is that? But it looks like someone has used my Advil, so I have to refill that. All right, so that was this side of the bag. Now going to this side in the front section, I do keep a little card case here. You can carry a, you know, a compact wallet, but it takes up a lot of room in this purse. So I've, I've taken to using a card case whenever I'm carrying my YSL. This is a little Kate Spade Saturday card case. Kate Spade Saturday was such a great spinoff brand. I'm kind of bummed that I got rid of it. I like that it has this flap because I can carry extra cards if I want to, as well as some cash if needed. So I do have this little card case. I have my eye on another Gucci card case. I think I'm gonna wait until next year though. Again, just because I'm not going out as much and when I am going out, I'm not really carrying this bag. I'm carrying something that has more space if need be. So card case is on my wish list for next year. Last but not least is this Coach pill case. I got this on Amazon because they do not carry this on Coach Outlet or Coach.com or anything that I've seen. You may be able to get it on places like, you know, eBay or Poshmark. I'm not sure. I got mine on Amazon and it did. It is a pill case, but I don't keep pills in it. So the reason why I got this was because I wanted something that would hold my hand sanitizer and lotion. I have had so many people in the past say, oh my gosh, don't keep open liquids in your purse, it could spill. And for a long time I was just like, well, if it spills it's on the inside, it's fine. But then I was like, well then it would be one, highly inconvenient, and two, mm, yeah, I guess it could be kind of annoying. It would get on things like my wallet and my card case. So this just helps prevent that. I do have, it fits really nicely, this little, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer, and I do have a lip balm. I don't reach for my lip balm as often when I'm out and about nowadays because, you know, you're wearing a mask. Some of you might wonder, hmm, why doesn't she have a mask in her bag? Because it's on my face when I go out, guys. I don't keep a mask in my bag. I don't keep a spare mask in my bag. And I have a little mini L'Occitane. This is just a really great container. I was considering the Louis Vuitton um, pochette accessoire, I think. But I was worried that it wouldn't accommodate the girth of the little hand sanitizer. So I went ahead and went with this and it works really nicely. I'm really happy with it. 
and that's pretty much what I carry in my bag guys I you know when I am using this bag I can't fit that much so you know these are really kind of the essentials that I would use if I'm using anything that's larger than like a wallet on a chain or a crossbody a mini crossbody and these are really kind of like my basics all of these things I would just empty into a larger bag if that's what I wanted to switch into that's just kind of what I carry so I'm not really sure how many more what's in my bag I'm gonna be doing because it's not really gonna change from this so enjoy it guys if you made it this far in the video, please leave the word seasons in the comments down below so I know that you watched until the end. I am really, really looking forward to the season changing and fall and just enjoying hopefully cooler weather. Oh, I do love fall. I love it so much. I am very excited this year to be doing that. I will bring my bag and all the stuff in it and go frolic about. So. Thanks for watching guys. I do really appreciate it and until next time.